Hello and welcome to DJ Fossils. So, if you saw recently in the news about a big fall at Burton Bradstock, well, I'll show you the picture. I'll put it up on screen now. And there is what's left of it. It's almost all gone. I came down two days ago and it was like this. Uh, it's pretty much gone. But I did find uh, a nice ammonite down here but it was too big to carry so I've come back two days later hoping it's still here and I'm going to get it and bring it back on the trolley because it's too big to carry uh, so what I do is when I find it I will show you the ammonite and then we'll do some bits of video as I get it out of the rock that it's in and we'll get it back but it is a nice one so hope you enjoy the video well, this is the ammonite. I've just taken a little piece off here and a bit off down the side there. Um, as you can see, it looks really nice and it looks all good all the way around there. So definitely worth taking this one. Um, there's my foot for size comparison. It's pretty big. Probably about the same size as the other big one I got, but this one looks better preserved. So hopefully it will come out okay. Alright, so I've been at this rock for about 15-20 minutes now and as you can see I've got a bit of a side off here it's going all the way down there and it's looking really really good and I've got a bit off that side as well all right, I'm trying to move as you can see there but I've got to get enough out to be able to get it out it's quite wedged in there um, it's moving now so once I've got a bit more off I'll be able to get roll it out and tap at the other side a bit more um, but yeah regarding the big rock fall that was meant to have happened there is hardly anything left of it it's all gone um, and to be honest I came down here a couple of days ago and I hardly found much at all there is not much down here anymore um, I found a few, couple of partials a couple of broken ammonites a few bivalves but not a lot really compared to what you normally find in this area um, but yeah, it's, uh, I've only come down for this one today. Um, Jackie's having a look off uh, along there just to see if she can find anything. We have found a couple of bits, which I'll just show you. Nothing brilliant. So on this rock, I'm just breaking it up, and there's an ammonite there, which might be okay. Uh, but there's also. A uh, nice one in sat there, you can see the keel there, but on the other side, you can see the other edge of the keel there, so it's complete in there. There's a little tiny bit broken off that edge, but it's pretty much complete. So we might not find much else apart from the big ones, so we're taking those. Uh, if obviously, unless we find something better, uh, but we've got two bags to carry stuff with, so but yeah, there's not a lot going on. Jackie's just come back and she's found this one, uh, which is, I can't remember what species it is, but they I we could just call them a little chunkies because they're quite chubby. Oh, uh, looks to be reasonable, so we have to clean it up and see what that comes out like. But she's also just found this one, so pretty decent size one, uh, probably a largest one of this type that's this complete. So little bit worn around the outside but still nice ammonite and it's got a perfect little center in there it's a bit wet because i just washed it because it was in the clay or mud so but yeah it's looking really good so right near where i'm getting this big fossil out we just spotted this absolutely gorgeous crystals in it look at that that is beautiful there's no way obviously you're going to get any of that out but beautiful to look at and I'm going to take some nice pictures of that as well uh, with the flash so hopefully I'll put those at the end of the video well I've done a bit more progress and as you can see that's it next to my foot it's massive um, got the trolley over there ready for it but I'm trying to get a bit more of this rock off because it still weighs out two ton uh, I've got a few chisel marks on it but hopefully they'll polish off because 
I really haven't got much choice. I've got to get all this rock off or it'll be unmovable. I've literally only just been able to move it now with that much off. So I need to try and get some more off there. The center, that edge there is going round and there's the head area there. So that bit there is going around and in there. So I can take off quite a lot of this rock here. Um, there's a little bit on the other side still as well. But I'm going slowly and just chiseling away as much as I can. I'm not worried too much about getting the whole centre out yet because obviously that probably won't come out without the tools. But it looks really well preserved compared to the other one that I got. So it should be really nice. This is definitely going to be uh, our best ammonite yet, I think. It might even be larger, I'm not sure. I'd have to measure it, but it's pretty big. Well, uh, I've got it onto the workbench. It's a bit of a beastie. It's going to be a bit hard to do, but it's going to be fun, that's for sure. Um, it is massive. It is absolutely humongous, as you can see. Um, but I'm going to try and video the prep of this and hope you enjoy it. Um, hoping it goes well. It is well preserved on both sides compared to the other one that I found. Um, and it's got the, the nice mouthpiece showing at the end here. So what I'm going to start doing is just taking off a layer of the top there. And then I'm going to start taking off some from this side so that we can get the, the well coming round and in. Um, hoping the centre's all good. But as you can see, it's sat there. It is humongous. It's very hard to move. Uh, so it's going to be a tricky one to prep and I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the camera yet because I've got to stand miles back just to get it all in view. Uh, so that could be rather interesting. Um, but yeah, it's coming on okay. I haven't started any prep work on it. It's about a week and a, or two, nearly two weeks since I picked it up. Um, yeah, because I've been ill, so I haven't been able to do anything on it yet. Um but yeah, I'm feeling better. It's now Boxing Day and I'm going to get started on it. So hope you enjoy the video.